four beloved tales. Cinderella, stories around the world by Carrie Meister. What is a fairy tale? Once upon a time, before the age of books, people gathered to tell stories. They told tales of fairies and magic, princes and witches. Ideas of love, jealousy, kindness, and luck filled the stories. Some provided lessons, others just entertained. Most did both. These fairy tales passed from neighbor to neighbor, village to village, land to land. As the stories spun across seas and over mountains, details changed to fit each culture. Cinderella, a French fairy tale, illustrated by Valentina Belloni. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl who lived with her stepmother and two stepsisters. The stepmother and stepsisters had very cruel hearts and treated the girl poorly. They made her do all the work, scrubbing the dishes, mopping the floors, washing the clothes, and cleaning their bedrooms. The stepsisters dressed in the finest gowns and slept in the finest beds. The One day, an invitation for the prince's ball arrived. The stepsisters were delighted. They spent the next few weeks picking out gowns and deciding how to style their hair. Cinderella's godmother reappeared and touched Cinderella with her wand. The rags were once again changed into fine cloth, and two days later, Cinderella and the prince married and lived happily ever after. The next day, the widower's two older daughters went to the chief's wigwam. Little Burnt Face wanted to go too, but she had nothing to wear but rags. So she ran into the woods and peeled bark from the birch trees. She made her Rhodopis, an Egyptian fairy tale, illustrated by Polona Kosek. Long ago, pirates kidnapped a beautiful girl from Greece. They sold her as a slave to an old master in Egypt. The master had several servants already working in his house. They made the new girl do the hardest work, washing the clothes, making the meals, and weeding the garden. They called her Rhodopis, which means rosy-cheeked. Her skin was fair and turned red when she worked in the sun. Because the servants were mean, Rhodopis made friends with the Nile River animals. After her work was done, she often went to the river's edge. There she talked to the hippopotamus and danced with the ibis.